Hello and welcome to a compositing tutorial on After Effects in Cinema 4D. If you would like to follow along, visit my page for footages and source files. Hi, so in this part we're really going to talk about some really amazing stuff. So what we, we're going to talk about is we're going to learn how to extrude. And if you know it, so yeah, you're going to learn again. There is no, no harm in that. Um, so basically if you want to extrude something in Cinema 4D, it's really simple. We just need something to extrude, an object. For example, here we're still going to stay with the, um, for example, a rectangle. Exactly. And um, if I want to extrude it, I basically just need to go to subdivision and I can just find extrude and I can just extrude it. But of course there is nothing because I need to put the rectangle inside the option of extrusion. Alright, cool. Alright, now um, in extrude I can do a lot of things. I can uh, try to extrude the object, you know, more or no matter what I want to do with it. Cool, so this is how we extrude. Now the thing is, you see, unlike our um, previous Unlike our previous example, where we just created a box and we could simply um, create that small thing, that small fat, so that we can see the highlight and specular, um, in this example we don't have an option here. But we do have a clever way of doing it, another clever option, it's called a cap, a fillet cap. What is a fillet cap is something like this, you know, um, like those Hollywood titles or whatever, you know, when you want to extrude something. So um, you have this small fillet cap. This is what we call it, a fillet cap. All right, cool. So what we need to do is just recreate a fillet cap and then we put one. And this way, we're going to have it. See that? We're just going to make it smaller so that we can fake it. All right, cool. Um, now that you know this, it's pretty beautiful. Um, next, what we're gonna try to learn is what if, how, how can we um, destroy stuff like that? You know, how can we destroy this cube like this or um, anyway? So let's try to destroy the cube like, for example, the example that we have. And to do that, we have to be in the front view, you know, so that we can be accurate. And to do that, I'm just gonna go click on this icon here and I'm gonna choose the front view here and I'm just gonna click on it cool now um, I need to pretty much in After Effects or Illustrator or Photoshop I need to mask the parts you know and then duplicate and then mask another part so it's pretty much the same thing actually it's really similar as in Illustrator or After Effects or anything else all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use for example the pen tool here <laughs> like um, let's just say uh, Bezier or linear, so I'm just going to choose for example Bezier, all right, and let's just say that um, I want to cut it this way, you know, like a serve Cool, and then I'm just going to close it All right, it, it is better that you close the spline, the spline, you, you, clo you close the spline like um, from here than if you just uh, literally go and try to close it yourself, it's not really um, all the time accurate, so you'd better just close it just to stay safe. Now, what do we have now? We have a spline, all right, that we need to use to cut this object to it, you know, to mask it. And to do that, we're gonna use an option called spline mask. Exactly, that's what it is. I'm just gonna create a spline ma uh, mask and I'm just gonna put it inside. All right, I have nothing. And I'm just gonna put a spline inside. Cool. Now, this, what I'm going to do is, I'll focus first on this on the spline mask. And I'm just gonna put the rectangle. All right, nothing. And then I'm gonna put the spline inside the spline mask. Cool, now I have them both. Why? Because it says A plus B, A union B, meaning that you use them both. So don't 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 just do one of them. Just use them both. All right, that's cool. What if we do A subtract B? Subtract B, which is we're gonna have the first mask, and then we're just gonna remove 
this part okay so this object will cut this object this is what it is now if we do this one it's the other way around the mask will cut the rectangle all right and on the other part there we go the mask will intersect with the rectangle like where they are meeting each other you know where the love is created um, yeah and then we have our you see that so this is what we call intersection because this one is intersecting with that one so we have an intersection there cool now what if we want to get the other it's simple I'm just gonna go and duplicate this to duplicate something you can control C command C command V or control V or you can just hold control and drag all right and now what I can do I can just go to spline in spite of saying a intersection B I'm gonna say B subtract a so that I can have them both so this is what it is now I can just go for example I can just go and try to try to move it this is what it is all right cool and um, that's that's pretty much um, how the whole technique goes and um, yeah you can use it for anything you want and that's quite um, that's quite beautiful all right if you have for example a lot of parts we're gonna see later on how we can um, randomize the extrusion all right so um on the next part we're gonna start building our um logo which is for example number two and we're gonna try to build a box and, and stuff we're not gonna really cre recreate this but um something similar all right so um i'll see you on the next part